So in this video we're going to apply a simple four condition to this vertical drill point here that we've got set at zero zero. So on the program tab here in Cobus NCAD we can select from the various function blocks that uh, are built into the program. The for loop is the first one here and now we're asked to specify the parameters for this for loop. So the control variable is what is going to tell the for loop how long to continue to iterate and also what the increment will be and the stop condition will be. So those are all tied together to this control variable. Otherwise we would just have an infinite loop which we can still create by the way but <laughs> we'll avoid that. So let's say the start variable uh, or the start value of the control variable is zero. It's going to increase each time through the for loop by one and it's going to continue until the control variable or it's going to continue as long as the control variable is less than 50. So we should get uh, 49 iterations out of this loop. Now so far nothing has happened. We still need to put in a block end. So this tells Cobus that everything between the block end and the block start is subject to this for loop uh, condition. And now we need to make the drilling definition subject to something in the for loop that is changing. So we need to say, we need to tie this somehow or another to this I control variable here. So just to demonstrate what's happening, we can set the x and the y equivalent to the value of i, which means the first time through the x and y coordinate will be 1, 1, and then the second time the x and y coordinate will be 2, 2, and 3, 3, 4, 4, and so on. So we should get a little diagonal um, line here out of drill holes. And there you have it. Um, let's do something a little bit more obvious, so something a little clearer. Let's say we want to do 10 millimeters between our drill holes and we'll hard code the position of Y at 10. So getting a little bit better but not much. We might want to do I times 10. So now they're starting to become a little more spread out. And what we can do with this is actually limit the control loop variable by something that represents a physical condition of the um, of the workpiece that we're using. So we could say continue to make drill holes until I'm um, 20 millimeters from the end of the board. And creating practical programmatic uh, examples uh, is what I'll show you in the next video.